During our crisis screening program, uh, we do identify individuals who have uh, valve abnormalities. Uh, we do call them minor abnormalities of the heart, but as our understanding increases of those conditions, we do realize that although in the majority of individuals they will not get affected by those sort of conditions, we know that a minority of them may get affected and we also know that they may be associated with other associated heart conditions. And the important point of identifying those conditions is that although in the past we used to discard them and not follow them up on a regular basis, now we we know that it's important to follow those individuals and also it's extremely important that we don't convert those uh, clients or those young individuals that came to our crisis screening and have a minor condition to patients. It's also important on the other side to highlight that they may require a simple ultrasound scan of the heart for example every one or two years just to ensure that that minor abnormality that they've got at this point in time does not progress to something else that will require some sort of treatment or some sort of intervention. The conditions we usually identify because they're very common in the general population is what we call a bicuspid aortic valve. So the main valve of our heart instead of having three leaflets it only has two. And the other one we you may have heard is the mitral valve prolapse where the mitral valve doesn't close quite normally but it sucks into the, uh, the chamber of the heart a bit. And in both those conditions, what may happen is that either the valve may become leaky as they grow older, or in the bicuspid aortic valve, it may become a bit narrower and cause symptoms and problems with the heart.